It is cruise day. All right, for those of you that are new, my name is Haley. I write for HaleyWithAFlair.com and I am taking my first Mediterranean cruise out of Civitavecchia here in Rome. We spent a night here in Rome, been to Rome many times. If you wanna see what to do in Rome, make sure you check out my other videos. But to kick off the day, we start off with early morning photos. So if you're coming here to Trevi Fountain, especially in the summer early, this is just after sunrise. Um, not bad pro situation, you can definitely get some great photos, but if you come in the off season, there will hardly be like anybody here. So after taking some beautiful photos of this beautiful little girl, Livy and I headed out to Rosholi Pasticceria to have Mary Totsi. That is that little pastry right there filled with fresh whipped cream. Highly recommend this place. We came here for the first time when she came four years ago. I come here every year when I get here. We also stopped at the Rosholi Forno to get a couple little treats for Jeff while he slept in while us girls were out slaving doing all these photos. This is one of our favorites and when you come here during lunchtime you are going to see a line out the door it's a line for a reason there'll be different types of pizzas out here there's only a few in the morning but you'll see a variety of toppings from grilled vegetables etc after that we went back and got jeff and we explored the parco argentina which is supposedly the agora area where caesar was stabbed and murdered and they did such an incredible job this is newly reopened, gray artifacts. It's only about five euros to get in. Then before we left, we needed one more sorbetto. But now we are on our way to the port, which is about an hour and 20 minute drive from Rome City Center. I see cruise ships over there. I highly recommend having private transportation when you're taking a cruise out of Civitavecchia, especially if you are staying in the center of Rome. It takes a bit of a wait, it's a bit expensive. You're gonna find it running close to $200, but it is very much worth it. The cruise terminal check-in process was so easy. I can't even begin to describe this medallion process you're going to see throughout all of my princess vlogs is amazing. I am obsessed with it. So we didn't wait in any lines. We literally just walked on the ship. We came at our assigned time around 1 p.m. As you can see with the medallion, so easy. This ship is stunning. I cannot say enough nice things about this ship. We want to check into the room. If you want to see that tour, check the video link above to see what the balcony looks like. Ooh, Olivia, birthday, birthday. That looks delicious. So I have to say that was actually probably the smoothest check-in process I've ever had. I don't think we waited in line for anything. Um, so that was great. Uh, these things are nice, especially if you can get them sent ahead, but you can pick these up in port. Um, one perk that you guys should know. So if you're elite, you actually get to choose between eight different liquors and eight drinks in the fridge and they can swap them out. Like I am a DC girl, so we swap it out for some DC. All right, so we finished the online TV e-muster. Now we gotta go find our e-muster and check-in and then we are all set to start doing our thing. E-muster is by the theater, but look how pretty this place is. So we just got Olivia and checked into the teen program and we came up for a little light lunch with a buffet soup dinner kind of early. But uh, Jeff came back with a salad and um, that's how big the bowl is. I don't think you guys understand. Like, I thought he just swiped a bowl that a salad was in from the buffet, but that's, that's the salad. So we hung out in the room, explored the ship, and then it was time to have dinner at Sabatini's. I'm gonna have a whole separate video on the specialty dining options on this ship, so make sure you check that out when I post that here shortly. So we finished eating dinner at the Italian place tonight. We hung out a bit. Olivia's going up to the teen club because that's where we are these days. And uh, Jeff and I are gonna head out, drink, and find some activities. Please. If you're gonna go against Bevo, make some noise. Gisbon. You got one more. Remember you ordered a bunch of stuff. Yeah, you did too. I ordered fruit and french fries. <laughs>
That was the fastest room service ever. I know. It's faster than Royal Caribbean and all the other ones. Yeah. Oh my god. This is one doodle that can't be undid, Holmes Gillett. <laughs> <laughs> so it's completely silly and to not film a day one recap but um just wanted to give you a little recap here for the end of it so day one we were super super impressed with the medallions they made everything so easy that bed is the most comfortable bed i've ever slept on on a cruise ship like honestly jeff's looking into seeing if we can buy that mattress that's how good it is um, room service was super fast. The food at Sepatini's was really great. Um, honestly, great first day. Make sure you guys like, follow, and subscribe, and check out our other princess videos and other cruising videos. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.